Hey, this is Lisa from FitLab, and welcome to our detailed buying guide of the best treadmill running shoes. You'll find the links to the products in the description, and you can use the links to check user reviews and the latest prices. Make sure to watch until the end of the video to know my final verdict on which running shoes are best for treadmills. Let's get started with Witten Men's Cross Trainers Barefoot and Minimalist Shoe. The first time I walked into a specialty running shop, I explained what I was looking for to the pro at the store, and he recommended the Witten Men's Cross Trainer. His words were that getting the same type of shoes for a treadmill that you would use when running on the road is always good. These shoes are best for men looking for budget friendly shoes for everyday training. I especially like how versatile, comfortable, and lightweight it feels on the feet. The barefoot shoes feel natural and allow my toes and foot muscles to flex easily. It is highly rated because of how affordable, minimalist, and barefoot it gets on the feet, yet, it performs incredibly well. However, I did not enjoy how the insoles of these shoes wear out very fast. I was also disappointed that the shoes have a strong smell of rubber that is off putting and makes me nauseous. Sakoni Kinvara 13. If you're looking for a lightweight shoe to make your work easier and even more fun on the treadmill, this is the right shoe. My family is all about the treadmill, so I got these shoes specifically for my 55 year old mother. I wanted something in which she could be flexible and let her land on her feet easily. They are best for any runner looking for lightweight shoes. This shoe is highly rated because it is lightweight, allowing you to work with ease and achieve the best results. The shoe is also not fully sleeved, allowing for good air circulation. A significant factor to note about the Sakoni Kinvera 13 is that it has a good outsole grip, but not the best one. It did not please me that the outsole is not durable. Isn't this one factor we look for in running shoes? Brooks Adrenaline GTS 22 Sneakers If you have flat feet, this shoe is the best choice. Talk about a bounce when you're on the treadmill. I was truly impressed. The reason this shoe is highly rated is because of the high level of balance and support that it offers. The first thing I noticed when I wore it was the soft DNA loft midsole that provides cushioning and allows for a soft landing. This allowed me to enjoy a stable ride because there was no overpronation. A challenge that I experienced, though, is that the shoe had a squeezed toe box, which made it difficult for me to put it on, and also squeezed my instep, causing incredible pain. I also wish the shoelaces could have been longer. How do the running shoes compare in terms of specifications? Weight Saucony Convera 13 is the winner as the lightest among the three. Heel Toe Drops Brooks Adrenaline 22 takes the lead as they have a steeper heel to toe drop, which helps in stability. Cushioning Brooks Adrenaline 22 has a higher cushioning than the rest. Price If you're looking for value for money, then Within Cross Trainer is the best for you as it is the most affordable. Stack Height Brooks Adrenaline 22 has the perfect stack height compared to the rest. From the table, I found that Brooks Adrenaline GTS 22 is a better option than the Saucony Vera 13 and the Witten Men's Cross Trainer. The Brooks Adrenaline GTS 22 has a higher stack height, making it more comfortable and runner-friendly. I also enjoyed wearing it for my daily training. Because I have flat feet, the shoes were an even better pick for me. Major Differences Among the Running Shoe Weight When I wore these shoes, I could tell the weight difference. The Saucony Convera 13 is light and easier to maneuver with than the Brooks Adrenaline GTS 22 and the Witten Men's Cross Trainer. I could move easily with it and running on the treadmill was not that hard a task anymore. Similarities Among the Running Shoes I noticed that all three shoes are laced, which is suitable for running on a treadmill. Such shoes make it easy to adjust the tongue area and you just move around easily. So, should you buy the running shoes or not? Witten Men's Cross Trainer Reason to Buy 
I love how affordable these shoes are and that you can use them in your daily training. Reasons not to buy My major concern is how they do not last long, not to forget the strong, pungent smell of rubber that it always has. Salcone Convera 13 Reasons to buy If you need lightweight shoes, then these are the right ones. I enjoyed how flexible they allow you to be. Reasons not to buy The outsole of these shoes is not at all durable, so after a few months, I had to go back to the shop for another pair. Brooks Adrenaline GTS 22 Reason to buy These shoes gave me stability because of their firm grip even though they felt light. Reason not to buy I was disappointed that the shoes did not have enough toe room. Verdict So which one is my best pick? I found Brooks Adrenaline GTS 22 sneakers to be my favorite and the best for running on the treadmill. Despite its small challenges, it is comfortable, easy to use, and versatile for everyday training. Though the Saucony Convera 13 is lightweight and the Witten Cross Trainer offers value for money, nothing tops the type of shoes that are comfortable, offer stability, and are durable enough to be used every day for your daily routine. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel. Also, let us know what content you'd like to see next. Thanks for